Hi everyone, welcome back to my next video. Today I want to talk to you about a new product that I found uh, that re promises to replace two products that I always carry with me. So first let me tell you about these two products that I always have in the rig with me because they are so handy and so essential. Uh, the first thing that I always carry, this is called a recovery board. You, uh, they're, used, they're in different colors. This one's blue. You can see a lot of them in orange. Uh, what a recovery board does is if you get stuck in sand or mud or snow, you, uh, you dig down and you get these under the tire and then the tire rolls up on a, and rolls out. It has nubs on it that is supposed to bite and it also has nubs on the bottom that's also supposed to bite into the ground. So that bite, these bite into the ground and then these bite into the tire and you're supposed to get out with them. I've been carrying, a, I think I've always carried a, a one set or the other of recovery boards. And over, I've used recovery boards to get myself unstuck probably half a dozen times. And that's why I am committed to carrying recovery boards because I just, uh, they just work really, really well. The other thing I always carry with me are levelers. Um, I like to be level. In fact, uh, you know, these are about five or six inches and they're made for an RV. They're incredibly tough and durable. They're, they're intended to drive a 20,000 pound RV up on them. Well, a van, a van, it laughs at a van and even my ambulance, which is 13,000 pounds, it, it laughs at this. It, it doesn't, this just rolls up on it. They're incredibly tough and durable, and they're reasonably cheap. They're $30 each. You buy them by the each. You can buy them one at a time. They're made by Camco. That's a really well-known name in the RV industry. So I have two of them. I have $60 invested in, in these, and I will never be without these. I just love these. These I paid $70 for. They're cheap. And the really good ones are made by a company named Max Tracks, and they're like $350 but they might be worth it. It's one of those very rare times when something is, uh, you know, five times the price, but it might very well be worth five times. They are really, truly superior, but I think this will get me out. And what will happen is uh, ultimately this is going to fail after two or three or four recoveries and the Max Tracks literally may never fail. You might own them the rest of your life. So these are two things that I consider essential now, another thing I carry, always carry, is a shovel, just a little cheap shovel. You can buy these at Walmart for, I don't know, 10 bucks, I don't know. But uh, w when, you, when you get down, uh, you're going to have to dig out under the that tire to get this forced under it, because you're going to have to get it under it. You can actually use this as a shovel, especially in snow. It would work really well in snow, but in sand and in mud, you can actually use this. You can see these, take, these things take up a lot of room. Uh, but to me, they're worth it, and I always carry them. Now, I have just come across a product that tells me it will replace both of these. So the product I just learned about is called GoTreads. And what appeals to me is the difference in size. I mean, look at this compared to the size of these other things. It's tiny, and it claims it can replace both of them. I don't know if that's true. Uh, I, I opened this up, but I haven't been inside here yet. I haven't uh, emptied it. And so what they're doing is they're folding. And I've seen folding before, and I have my questions about whether folding will work, whether it will work as well or whether it will work at all. And so, you know, you lay them out like this. It's approximately the same length. This is not really, this isn't really, uh, I don't know how much that's going to do, but including that, it's actually longer. It's actually longer than that board. And what they're saying is you can use, you can drive up on it. I think you would do it like this. So you would drive up on it like that. And, and then you can use it as a leveler. And so having two level, having these as levelers and that means you could use them all the time. I have never used these. I've, these blue ones, I've never had to use them, but I've all, I use these all the time, all the time. I keep them really handy. Uh, they're so easy to use. They're so quick to deploy. They're always handy, and I use them all the time. So you can see, you can compare the height. There's no comparison in height. That's probably three, maybe four inches for the go treads against five or six, uh, and the and the strength of this crazy 
leveler, this tri Camco tri-leveler is fantastic. So I don't know how long these are going to hold up and endure, but you can use these every day. So that's a big plus. Now what I figure is, uh, well, the reason I ordered them is, uh, there are times when this isn't enough. So I could still lay this out underneath it and gain another inch. And I think I might end up doing that. So here, here I gain, gain another inch if I need it, and it'll still drive up on it really, really easily. And I think that's a really good thing. So I believe I paid $134 for these. And so that isn't a real bad price. And I think the fact that I can use them for two different things uh, might, might work well. And also one of the other things that's handy about these is you can buy a second pair and you can actually attach them to each other. So they're very long. And that is something I ran into. I had a friend uh, in, in Flagstaff when it when really bad, one really bad year, it was, uh, we'd had like two weeks straight of rain. He had a friend who wasn't stuck. His friend came and got him. They went into town and he bought four uh, eight foot two by eights and he stuck those in front of his rig and used those to drive out because he would get out, go a foot and be, get buried. And so if you're moving this much at a time, that gets old really fast. But if you can connect these together, then that works really well. And so that's one of the big pluses is you can you can buy a second set of these that will connect to these. And now you have a very long runway instead of just that short one. So what do I think? It's too early for me to tell. I think as of this moment, I'm glad I spent the money to, to buy them. Whether Can this replace the two of them? Uh, no, I'm going to own these forever. You, these are so incredibly excellent that I will never be without those. It's a possibility I would stop carrying these blue, um, these blue uh, recovery boards because these would replace them and that would save me a lot of space. Okay, so you can see that uh, the uh, Go Tread is actually a little longer than my Bull. This is the brand name in this blue one is Bull. And this is... Uh, 46 inches long. And again, this backside has is empty, and so you can actually literally attach the two of them together here. So the way you would use this is there's a, uh, this is the, the front, this goes under the tire, whichever, whichever way you're going, you could be backing up onto them. But either way, uh, the tire it drives up on this first. And this side is smooth, it goes down, and then the tire goes up under it. And again, you would get your shovel, and dig under it so you can push this as far forward under the tire as you can. Uh, that's really a really key thing. A big disadvantage to this is you cannot use it as a shovel. Whereas these, the blue bulls, you definitely, these, these recovery boards, you definitely can use them as a shovel. With both of them, it's really critically important that you do not spin the tires because this is just plastic and the spinning of the tire will melt it. Literally, it will melt it. And I've done that many times. With these uh, blue ones, it will destroy the nubs. It'll melt the nubs right off. A better set of these has screw-in metal nubs. So if you do damage the nub you, nub, you can take it out and put it back in. But you're paying a lot of money for that kind of, I think the, the best maxi track will do that, but it's like 500 bucks and all the nubs can be replaced. So, and they're metal. And you can see that they, the, um, the track goes, is reversed. And, so when if you're driving out this way, right? That's how this is going. Your tire is rolling up and throwing it backwards. That's what's going to happen. And this groove is this way. So that tire is going to bite it, right? That's the goal. You can see that. That's how this works. But if you look on the opposite side, it goes the different direction. So that uh, it's biting into... The ground while the tire is trying to throw it this way this is biting into it so it can't be thrown back and i think that is how the magic of how this thing works at all is these opposite grooves uh, direction of grooves so that the tire grabs well but it isn't just instantly spun out i mean you probably put it you know a, a, a carpet under your tire and it just instantly throws it out because it's not biting. And this, because now this is biting really good and the weight of the tire is sitting on it, your whole vehicle, the way the whole vehicle is sitting on it, then it's being forced into the ground and it's biting and it doesn't want to be thrown out. 
it. So I think that's what makes these things work as well as they do. I, again, I've not ever used it. There's also another function that you get out of these, and that's bridging. And what that means is that if you come up to a rock uh, and you can't get over it, but you can't get back, uh, you can actually use this, these boards as a bridge. So if you come up to this obstacle, then you can put this down and drive up on the obstacle. And uh, and that actually, you know, you would think that would never happen, but in the desert southwest where there's a lot of rocks, this actually happens fairly often. So you can go forward easily. You can't go backwards at all, but you come up to this obstacle and you can't get over. Well, now you can bridge it. And these should be strong enough to bridge a few times. And because these are cheap, they will fail after a few times. Obviously, that can bridge, and eventually it will fail because it's not the world's best plastic. It's $70. This can't bridge at all. This can't even pretend to bridge. You lose that function of the boards, and that can be pretty important. There, you could, the day would probably come when this would fail you because you can't use it as a bridge. But, you know, this is mainly going to be used for sand, snow, and mud, and you're never going to bridge under those circumstances. Uh, this really bridging is for four by guys who are out in the rocks, rock crawlers. Okay, let's uh, let's test them out as levelers now. So that went really smoothly. You probably can't hear me. Uh, I'll drive up on it a couple of times, see what happens. So that seemed to work really well. It was easy to roll up on. It got me three inches. I can feel and see the difference in it. Uh, I'm not sitting on it very squarely and that would have made it more destructive. I must have rolled off and I didn't count, but it was a lot of time. So uh, it seems to do really well as a leveler. Three inches isn't enough, but boy, it's very, very easy to roll up and off on. I would definitely use it with the main levelers, that and this and some other tire. And of course, I'm a big diesel heavy rig, so this is, you know, you're not many of you are going to be as heavy as this is. So it's a very good test. I think it's a very good leveler from what I can see so far. I'll use it, and I'll let you know. I'll get back with you. But you see what happens is these rocks just embed themselves. This It's kind of tore it up. That's just the nature of the beast. Uh, it's going to tear it up. Compared that to... So you can see the difference in them as levelers. This works really well. I'm not complaining about this. This just works super, super, super well. So that's an unfair comparison. And this can only do one thing. You never in the world do anything with it, but roll up on it as a leveler. This can get you unstuck. I think it will work as for getting you unstuck. And it can be a leveler, it just won't be as tall. So I think that makes this look like a pretty good product to, to my mind. I'm glad I bought it. I think. I think it will be a supplement instead of a replacement. As soon as I get stuck, if or anyone else I know gets stuck, I'll try it and let you know how it works as a recovery board. But I think it works fine as a uh, as a leveler. So if you buy it and you just use it regularly as a leveler for $135 or so, I think you you spent your money well. So so far, my impression to go tread is really positive. It will work well as a leveler. I mean, you're not going to have anything heavier than my rig unless you're in an actual RV. And some of the RVs would be heavier, but not a lot of them. Four-wheel drive diesel up on this front axle is a lot, a lot of weight on a front axle. And uh, so it works well. I think the leveler works great. So if it works good as a recovery board, to my mind, that's just icing on the cake. It's a real expensive leveler, but the fact that it will do both makes it pretty well worth the worth having it on board. If you don't have recovery boards on with you, I think you should have this. I think you get both purposes for pretty good money. Okay, hope that helps. Hope you got something out of that. 
so write in, let me know. Would you uh, would you consider buying one of these for that kind of money? Just uh, you'd use it all the time as a leveler, and then if you needed as a board, a recovery board, you'd have it as well. I think it might be uh, a real good thing. I'd love to hear from you. See what you think. If you got anything out of today's video, uh, like us on YouTube, subscribe to the channel, hit that thumbs up button, and we'll talk to you later. Bye now.